what are people worried about um, in the Gilded Age? Well, one thing that people are worried about is the emergence of mass poverty. The fact that it's not, not just that we have poverty, we've had poverty for, throughout American history, but poverty seems to be growing at an alarming rate. Now, what image or what, what literature comes to mind when you see this, this image? Dickens. It's just, I mean, I don't, I don't have to hesitate anymore. I know you are going to say that. Uh, it's universal. Charles Dickens. Well, this is New York City, 1876. Front page of the best-selling magazine slash newspaper in America, the weekly, Harper's Weekly, a magazine about politics and American life. And the artist is intentionally pushing the Dickens button, right? What, so this is a very important thing. We want to understand America in the 19th century. America in the 20th century, for a lot of that time, we had, we had our identity and we have our non-identity, you know, the identity that we're not, the opposite. So in the 20th century, we are absolutely not communist, right? That's the, that's the opposite of what we think we are, and we're always nervous that we're trending towards communism or that we're, communism is going to get us. In the 19th century, we are absolutely worried about Europeanism, that we are going to become European, not ethnically. We know that's the case for most Americans, but we are fearful that we're going to slide back into Europeanism, a land of, of uh, wealth and poverty, a land of kings and queens, a land of fixed classes, a land of aristocrats and uh, state-sponsored uh, churches and so forth. So we're always on the, you know, the, the fear. So whenever you see images of, like Andrew Jackson with a crown on his head, that's not, that's not, that's a powerful critique. It's the most powerful critique that you can offer of a polit of, of politician. So we're worried that we're sliding back towards that world. And this is what this ar artist is trying to call attention to. Look about you, Americans. Are we sliding towards Europeanism? Are we becoming this Dickensian world of haves and have-nots? Are we losing our democracy? Is our republic unhealthy on some level? 